Welcome back to more Burning Crusade Dungeons. What we got on the menu today is a Heroic Botanic. This is not a bad one for badges, because you have five bosses. So we'll actually be able to get the uh be able to get our trinket after this run. We've got a big fat bear tank on this one. Oh damn, I got my teleporter. I was gonna teleport to get out here faster, but then I got summoned. This teleporter puts you in Blades Edge Mountains, but it's still much closer to Nether Storm than uh, Shadrath. My rogue, however, has a teleport to Area 52 in Nether Storm. He's a goblin engineer. They have different spots. Might give some of these uh, drugs. Our, uh, our bear here. Here you go. Hopefully, there's some biscuits back here. The music is loud, isn't it? settings that all these videos have. I don't think I mentioned it in the other run, but Tempest Keep will drop unique potions that can only be used in the Tempest Keep dungeons. So there's a health one and a mana one. They're basically the same as the supers, but you can only use them in, in these dungeons for the raid. You may want to hold on to them for the raid. If you planned on doing that. And I was just in there last night. We did three of the bosses but did not try KO Thaws. We killed the giant firebird, Alor, what people call Loot Reaver, which is a big golem, it's a pretty easy boss. And then the uh, Blood Elf Chick. That was the first time I ever fought her. Because my previous guild never made it to her, we never killed the firebird, Alor. Well, this guild kills those bosses. It wasn't the first time they have done so, so I don't get all of the achievement. But I'm also making up for lost time because uh, for several weeks I was losing progression with a dying guild. Now I have essentially gained it back. I'm most likely where I uh, would have been if things stayed on track and the, the guild did not go downhill. This is probably where I would have been in that time anyway. So, could I have gotten into a guild that was all content cleared? Probably. He's buffing us. The 
menders have a buff that they can cast. So he's got a mind control and buff. Holy Fury spell damage. 295. That's a big fucking buff for 30 minutes. You can spell steal that with a mage, but if you spell steal a buff, it's capped at, I think, 3 minutes duration. It doesn't matter if you spell steal a 30 minute buff, it'll be capped at 3 minutes and it'll go away. But if it's from a mob and you mind control it, he can get you the entire duration. But it doesn't really matter to me, I don't use spell power on this character. That buff will be a paperweight on a warrior. Warlock might use spell penetration for enemy players. But I think there's a gem that just does 10 spell power, or is it 8 spell power or something? I get all the gem combinations confused. You think keeping track of one list is hard? Try doing that with four different classes that all use different gems. Might be hanging up the warrior from heroics after this. Once I have that badge, drink it. Won't need to go 
into these anymore. I still got my trials. trials. I actually did a shadow, a heroic shadow labyrinth, but I scrapped the recording on it. That run was far too shitty wiping too much. spinning by then, but apparently it had another tick of damage, and that got me killed. That's my fault. Don't blame your healers when you sit in the I tried to get into a heroic Shattered Halls a while ago, but the guy didn't answer. Might have to get out the rogue for that place if we want a video of it, because the rogue has sap, which helps with those awful orc packs. But I have seen some solid paladins that just bomb through it. But look, good luck getting one of those tanks. I mean, those are the people that are in full purples on a paladin. So they can take the punishment, and they can keep the aggro. We just got the boss. Somehow. Let's get the other guard. At least it didn't aggro all that other shit. I think she aggro through the goddamn wall, which is not supposed to happen. Get out my records. It 
it's crit time. I did not crit. Crits. I missed. I am not hit capped. I don't even have 5%. But I was close to it. Tower of the Haunt. That looks like the Beastmaster from a uh, classic. That's the, that's the tier 1 hunter. I had that whole set. I had tier 1 hunter and tier 2 hunter. And the 8 piece blue set. I had some pieces of striker. But was only ever uh, able to kill C Thun once. On two different characters, but. It annoyed me seeing uh, hunters in the battlegrounds that had full fucking striker. It's like. You must. How many times. Like. Getting that token off of C Thun in a 40 man raid as a hunter. How the hell did you manage that? You would have had to have killed that boss like 25 times before the guild gave you one of those tokens. I managed to kill that boss once on two different characters. One guild the first one hung it up right after that raid. Said, we killed C Thun, we're done. They didn't even stick around for Nax. That was a good guild too, sad. But that realm was dying and eventually did. Next one I went to uh, killed Seathun once. Was never able to do it again a second time. And was raiding in Nax when the guild broke. I was in one of only two horde side American guilds on the realm. One of two. And the guild broke up. So after that, there was one. The only other guilds on the realm were Europe and China. Because it was a private server, so it wasn't for one region. It was hosted in France. Still had a decent enough ping. It was usually like 135 from the East Coast. That's about as good as you can get from the United States to a private server. Because they're not going to be on our continent. Because of the DMCA bullshit, they're going to be somewhere else. So if you are on the East Coast, that's going to get you the shortest distance. And I'm about as far east as you can go without being in the ocean. But being uh, further north would still be some distance closer. Because it's the southeast. But we don't have that problem anymore. I don't have to be in the battlegrounds and constantly miss kicks and pummels while the enemy has no trouble landing theirs because they have a 100 point ping advantage. Now I do pretty well on it. Most people do.
most of my enemies do as well. We are at 32. That's what happens when you play with within your own region. If you like private servers, I hope you're in Europe. Should have just gone to Hand Fury. That's what we did in Classic. Because I could never get two decent one hands, but I got a decent two hand axe, so I was just like, okay, I'm raiding with this then. I was raiding with a Spinal Reaper. Here comes the bigger one. Oh, oh, they're fucking fire immune. Totally wasted that bomb. Fire immune bastards. I think they changed their resist. They're changing colors. So I hit them when they were red. That was a bomb down the tube. second boss. Like I said, this place isn't too bad on the work. Mech and bot are your uh, badge stomps. Stop trying to eat us, and then maybe we'll stop chopping it. That's why I have no respect for the night elves. 
How dare you defile the wilds and kill the nature? Well, nature's trying to fucking eat me. Also, we need food and firewood. Where are we gonna get that? You have to kill something to eat. You know, uh, Botanic was actually on the daily quest yesterday, but it did not pick up and keep the quest. So I could have gotten a key and some gold, and you just sell the key for more gold. Unless you care about maxing out your consortium rep. But I would suggest you still go ahead and sell the thing, because grind that rep too exalted out in the world. The consortium and Nagrin rep. You can get those from mob kills out in the world. I didn't even care about the reputation, it was just something to, to uh, grind on. Like, yeah, I need to kill mobs for, for something, I, I guess I'll go kill the mobs for the consortium reputation. Which is also the mobs for the Maghar reputation, or uh, what's the Alliance version? Maghar is Horde, there's a different one for the Alliance.
hot frost bombs want it. Now that I think about it, wasn't that mage in one of the previous runs I did? Why so serious? Got leader of the pack on us. Gives us plus five crit, extra chopping power. Some of these guys have a scythe. My warlock had that at one point, because there's one on your uh, sunken temple class as a warlock. There was a really nice one on the summer event, but uh, I failed to get it on my warlock. I lost the roll four fucking times on it. And you have to kill the boss about a dozen times to get one drop. But it's not a big deal. When season three gets here, the season one gladiator stuff's gonna be on the honor vendor. And at that point, it would have been getting dropped anyway. Although I might take the one hand and off hand instead of the two hand. Look at the stats. I think the staff is for crit. If you take the main hand and off hand, you can get less crit for the other stat. That would be ideal. Something about a mage, I would think my uh, my main turns. I got a portable mage.
right time for the boss. This is another one for fire. In fact, here, bear. It's not an elixir, it's a potion. What aggravation is this? You will die. You will die. Let's see about that. Oh, it's hot. Got something wrong with your throat. You might want to see one of the doctors about that. You won't get far. We've gotten this far. The third boss of the dungeon is trying to say you won't get far. That's three out of five. Stealth demons over here. are the nasty ones. They put shit on the floor and on heroic mode. That shit hurts. But they actually uh, turtled that guy. The one that does it is the gene splicer. These won't do it. There it is. I stopped it. Their death and decay has a cast time. When you get it later in Wrath, it's actually in. I actually got more in my rogue's bank. Should have sent some over, huh? Don't worry, we've got bigger ones. And the frost grenades are through players, not mobs. It does almost no damage, but it roots. Chop. Sheep in the splicer, that's one way to make it easy. Yeah, the 
last time on that bomb. It's a long one. But it does have a large radius, so you could actually throw it at the pack before you even pulled it. If you were tanking it. shit on the floor, don't stand in that. I like how all these specimens up here have eaten the, uh, blood elves. bomb of four enemies. I can roll with four. Roll with four, cleave two. Yeah, maybe I should have just gone Fury. Two hand Fury wouldn't have been bad. Would have got me the sweeping strikes. Flurry. up here. How do you feel about your delicate specimens now? is great. Okay, we're up to the plant.
out my brew lady. But with the other trinket coming soon, uh, that'll be getting retired. Because it has a 10 minute cooldown. Damage trinkets have a 2 minute cooldown. Changing their magic resist, which you can tell with the color. I don't have to worry about that because I'm not using magic anyway. Poison gas all over the place. Smells like shit in here. Let's go. Dementia. If you ever start to get really confused and talk like that guy does, and just not know what the fuck is going on anymore, uh, you better get on to some, some fasting. A whole lot of fasting. Your brain needs some autophagy. I mean, at that point, it is critical. But doctors won't tell you that because they can't sell that in a bottle. They, they can't sell you a bottle of fasting. all the plants down. It was two groups. Time to get some firewood. Kind of doing this tree a favor by putting it down. some of these things. We just want the boss. He summoned other Trents, but uh, they don't do much.
well, it's not our fault that you're in here and you're trying to kill us. So we're going to take your loot and not feel bad about it. Really nice necklace. the primal I don't need any more of those they later become tradable though so at that point I'll take them off all the characters that have won them and don't need them and start selling them they probably won't go for much because some people are gonna have so many of them stockpiled be like a thousand primal never nethers all flooding into the auction house the next day. Apparently I won that. Moon glade cow. It's the druid healing piece. Okay. That is it for this one. Where's the vendor? You're the Shatari one. I think this floating thing here is the one we need. Get this crap out of here. This junk. What we want is something called the Bloodlust Brooch. There it is. It's got the same stats as the empty mug. But this one's always available. The mug came from the Brewfest event. It was only here for two weeks. The brooch is the normal version. That's always here. Let me buy that. I just realized I didn't have the other badges out of my bank. They didn't make me go and pick them up. Just zoinked them out of the bank for me. Our enemies will fall. You would have expected it to say, oh, you don't have enough, because the, the, the rest of them were in my bank, but it just took them out. Well, okay, that works. So anyway, uh, that is it for this episode. We'll see what comes next uh, in the next one.